first of all, my paper focus on the uh, conflict avoidance. But uh, this afternoon, I heard from the floor that uh, everybody uh, focus on mainly the uh, environmental uh, uh, concessions. That uh, I would like to uh, highlight this through my uh, um, uh, observation and uh, uh, my intervention on the nowadays this of the uh, royal government of Cambodia that promulgate law and regulation for the uh, environment protection. Honorable chair and co-chair, scholar, venerable Sangha, distinguished guest, lady and gentlemen. I would like to highlight a little bit from the ancient time uh, to uh, nowadays the uh, policy of government. For centuries, Khmer peoples, since the beginning of early common era, they had planned to establish city with construction of what we call in Barai or water reservoir and planting tree along the embankment of such water reservoir. The spirit have been uh, continued till recent days. In early period of ninth century, King <coughs> and their subjects built a huge water reservoir that now they uh, name the Western Barai. Exists in the uh, uh, Siem Reap province in the uh, Angkor complex that is the World Heritage Site. Measuring eight kilometer long and 3.7 kilometer large. Along this embankment, King ordered his people to plant tree for the betterment of his own people and for observing landscape that not only adorn environmental scenery, but also for giving harmonization of monument and the people living nearby. At the beginning of ninth century, as well, King named Yashovarman the first ordered to build three ashrama that for the benefit of one for the Buddhist ashrama, second for uh, Vishnuist ashrama and third Shivaist ashrama. And his subject increased their livelihood by growing rice, tree plantation, and biosphere protection. Nowadays, uh, in uh, the uh, environment of the, uh, the people living nearby uh, the complex of Angkor, they create a policy of uh, building a green belt. This for uh, supporting the uh, nowadays that uh, they rely on the people that living uh, in the uh, Siem Reap complex of Angkor. Uh, the goal of uh, the uh, Tran transfer of the natural environmental aspect into love and nature protection. King Yashovarman the seven, you know maybe 
the Buddhist, the great Buddhist king at the end of 12th century, adhere totally with the Buddhist teaching of compassion. And the Siphon inscription that exists in Lao country say, the king suffered more from the disease of his subject more than his own. Therefore, he built hospital and the harmasala or shelter for traveler, more or less 112, along the road of his empire in order to serve his people. The mental healing is important for conflict avoidance as well as the care of the preservation of nature. During King Sieno <coughs> time, regulation and law have been promulgated for environmental protection as far as, for example, to be observed recently. Royal government of Cambodia encourage people to protect biosphere. <laughs> Uh, nowadays, uh, it's named the, uh, the Lake Tonlesap, the Great Lake Tonlesap, that uh, there are a lot of the biosphere and protected by uh, UNESCO. Peace is a condition sine qua non. Without uh, the peace, there are no environment and the people because and development because nowadays the government integrate the Buddhist ethics on air in Phnom Penh nowadays there are uh, uh, pagoda Venerable has his own uh, radio for uh, diffusion, the morality to the people. Not only uh, morality, but uh, the way how to protect uh, the environment consciousness. Because this is very important for them. Uh, you know as well that uh, Cambodia uh, has a great lake and the Mekong River that's full of the uh, fish and for uh, the, uh, the food for the uh, nowadays uh, the people of uh, the Khmer people and also for exportation. Uh, the creation of the Ministry of Environment is very important too, because uh, this facing, uh, you know, the people that uh, they don't know about how uh, uh, to protect uh, the forest. They cut tree down for his own or their own benefit. So this the Ministry of uh, Environment also uh, involved. Uh, very, very uh, systematic for uh, the protection of the uh, mostly uh, the mountain of the uh, uh, Kulen in Sanskrit that uh, uh, Maharin Trakbarbat. This means, uh, you know, the, uh, the first the creation of the uh, uh, systematic uh, uh, governance of the, the people at uh, the beginning of the 9th century and build a lot of the uh, 
Shiva Renga, uh, sculpt Shiva Renga, Vishnu reclining, and the other uh, deity. The main goal of the the king is the to uh, uh, create the uh, in environmental uh, people that live nearby and so far the Maharita Parvata is considered as the cradle of Khmer civilization from the 9th century till now. And also the uh, the event that uh, this ministry uh, engages is to uh, a land concession for the benefit of the people and uh, people must uh, engage in this uh, program of uh, replanting um, the forest that has been made in previous uh, time that uh, you know through the tree cutting and now there are some places that look like bare of the uh, the, the forest and also uh, as the I am president of uh, the uh, Prairie Authority, World Heritage Site Two. Uh, I have to protect the protected zone of the uh, uh, Prairie Temple. First is the the core zone. It's a zone dealing with the uh, temple. The second zone is a zone of uh, forestry, uh, forest protection. Sorry, uh, one minute. Uh, and uh, so this is the kind of uh, the protection created by uh, the UNESCO. Uh, <coughs> as you know, the uh, uh, protecting zone and the zone of uh, protection, not only for uh, uh, the temple, but the wildlife also to be protected. So they create uh, the protect zone of four because this uh, is very important for the environmental protection and envi environmental, environmental economy uh, dealing with the, uh, the progress of development of the people living over there. So this the I, I would like to emphasize another one point that uh, the government of Cambodia uh, encourage the lady, the women, that nowadays is without women, uh, we can say that uh, development can be done. So uh, it's my time is over. So I would like to uh, uh, give the uh, holy uh, speech from the uh, Lord Buddha that uh, living with the uh, harmonization, living with the compassion, and uh, living with uh, uh, greed, because this, uh, uh, with greed is the a creation of the conflicts uh, between each other. So I thank very much for uh, giving me the floor as a representative of the government of Cambodia that uh, I'm uh, Secretary of State in charge of the uh, immaterial and immaterial culture in my country. Thank you for your kind attention.